Among the bona fide bruisers in the freshwater world are the alligator gar, the white sturgeon, the lake sturgeon, catfish like the flathead, and our target this day, the blue catfish. Now we've often suggested that the record might soon push past 150 pounds. No fish of that class entered the boat today, but we think you'll get a pretty good idea what an armful these big bad boys can be. Uh, this okay. is pretty decent fish, guys. That wasn't a little piece of skipjack either, was it, Judd? Yeah, it was about a pound and a half skipjack. They <laughs> like them big skipjack like that, guys. It's some of the best bait you can get for big blues and trout. Oh, look at that thing. Let me get him turned around here to you. There we go. Good job, there we guys. Go. Good job. <laughs> Whoa, what a ton. Big old uh, Arkansas blue right there, yeah, Central reads. Arkansas, guys. Man, good grief, there we go. N nice fish, Get Rob. That there. there we go. That's a ton of fish to wrestle <laughs> around, nice catch, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> man, well that's a pretty bruiser classic fall blue cat. Yes, Here, it is. This is South Central Empowerment. And uh, man, it's been a, a, a good exercise and some pretty, pretty precise presentations in this this area with this basin full of wood like this. Absolutely. We've had to find these, these little bit open spots. They're not real big. Sure and, do. And uh, get on them and use the electronics a lot. Hey, Rob, let's get this girl back. All right. There we go. Back home. Down to the depths. Hey, John, tell us about the rigging we're using today. We have a uh, sinker slide. We use this sinker slide, which is uh, attached to uh, 80 pound braid coming into a McMahon snap. Then we go into a, a 36 inch fluorocarbon leader. Uh, this 36 inch fluorocarbon leader is very important because it's very abrasion resistant. Uh, we got a little small float on there to help float this bait up, keep it up out of the debris. We terminate with a 18 inch leader with a big eagle claw kale hook. This happens to be a 10 on. Very good hook for these big baits that we're fishing. Uh, these big skipjack and these big blues. Awesome setup. Good oh, fish, go. good fish. Another Arkansas blue. Oh, that's blue. a good fish there, John. Yeah, check that drag, Rob. Make oh. sure that drag's good. That's a good fish, boy. He's lighting up. He's like coming right at us. <laughs> okay, they do that a lot of times. They'll run right at this boat. Let me switch sides with you, Rob. Are you good? Yeah, I can you want to get right you there and I'll off. slide right in here to net. See, Cork, we got fish coming. Don't go back there. He's behind the boat. There he is. There we go. Got him, guys. All right. Oh, Another mango flute. Very good. Oh, Rob, yeah. look at that. Good job. Yeah, nice good job. job. Way to go. Good deal. You know, the thing about this type of fishing, guys, is uh, it's not that difficult. A lot of, almost anybody can come down, deploy a wind sock, keep your boat speed down. With a little bit of tackle, yep. you can come down here and catch these kind of fish. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful Arkansas fish right yep, there. That is. You know, this drifting has been, been the ticket today, John. Absolutely. And, uh, what 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 are the best seasons for, for this technique now? Oh, you know, come here, baby. You can kind of do it off and on throughout the year, but for me, I like to come down here and fish in the fall season for these fish because uh, we get a big bait movement this time of year. The the bait kind of slides back up in these channels. Yep. On the big flats, and right behind them come these big blues. And when that water temperature starts uh, falling, that's what kicks this off. It's okay. a fantastic yep. pattern. Yep, it is. And probably right till the water temperature gets down low 50s, 50 degrees, somewhere yep. in there. You can continue to do this. And, you know, once it gets too cold, then you need to go to anchoring and yeah. still fishing. Yeah. But, you know, this is a great way to come out and fish. Beautiful fish. Go back home and raise some babies. There she goes. The bags are looking good. You know, those are pretty critical part of this drifting procedure you got going here where, you know, you're wanting to drift about 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 miles an hour, yep. right? Absolutely. And these. Pretty strong wind. We got, we're going with the wind. They're slowing us down nicely. Yeah, we fought a lot of wind today and with, uh, without these drift socks, we wouldn't be able to control and yeah. do our drift that we, the way we need to do it. Yep. 
Yep. Oh, there we go, John. There's one. Yeah, good fish, Rob, looks like. There we are. There's one, John. Yep. There we oh, go. we got some pull there. A little bit. Nice. I'm going to grab the net right quick, Rob, get ready for you. Good job, there we guys. Go. Thanks, Good John. job, guys. Right here, boys. Can't hardly get him in. All right. Look at that. Oh, awesome fish. There we go. Where's that hook? Boy, look how healthy these reservoir cats are. There we go. Beautiful fish. Boy, oh boy. Boy, you know this drifting technique's been been key today, John, on this Absolutely. particular reservoir. You know, we had to find the zones that we yep. could drift that we were able to cover these productively, and this was the technique to use. Yeah, it was. You know, it's been kind of a trying day with the weather and stuff today, but we uh, hung in there and uh, got her done. That's it. They're ready to cooperate sooner or later. Yes, nice sir. Nice one.